Welcome into another episode of the tailgate. I'm out at Chelsea High School. Uh, we found one of the shady spots again out here. Uh, it's a little warm out there in the in the lot. We got a breeze though. It's actually kind of chilly under here. Anyway, uh, I'm with rising senior running back Emerson Russell. Appreciate you hopping on today. Is it good to see you? So, what is uh? How long have you been a running back? I want to start with that. I want to talk about running back. Um. Pretty sure I started around sixth grade. I used to be a safety, and then my dad moved me when I got um, under him as yeah. a coach. So. so your dad coached you like in what, like middle school, little league, what? Little league, all the way up to middle school. How about that? So son of a coach. Yeah. Man, is there, is there like more expectations being the son of a coach? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I couldn't make as much mistakes as <laughs> <laughs> as much as other people were making mistakes, but. It shaped me to be who I am. Yeah, today, so it's, yeah, holds you to a high standard. Yeah. Who are some running backs that like? I don't know. You know, everybody has their favorite guys they model after. Who who do you who do you like to watch? Um, I've been seeing Deuce Vaughn a lot lately over a couple of years. Where remind me where he's at? Uh, Kansas State. He's going to be in the draft. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I saw he's him play. Solid. I saw him play Alabama in that Sugar Bowl. Man, he's physical too. Yeah. Man, so who who's a who's a pro guy? Do you do you follow much pro? A little bit. I used to see Clyde Edwards, Alaire, some of the smaller backs. Yeah. Singletary, all of them. I've been watching. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have Devin Singletary. Like, every year I, I, I take a reach on him and some fantasy football and yeah. stuff. Just, he's, he, I mean, you play in the Bills offense yeah. with Josh Allen at QB, and he can, yeah, he can, you can move him around. You can use him at, out in the slot if you need to. He can get downhill if he needs to. And Alaire, I mean, he's had some injury. Stuff, yeah, hadn't he? But yeah. I mean, when he's when he's healthy, when he's he's, healthy, yeah, he's, he's really good. You always been in out here in Chelsea? Um, I actually moved here from New York in eighth grade. Really? Yeah. New York, yeah. New York City? No, I was at West Point. Really? Yeah, it's like the military base. Really? Yeah. Did y'all like? Are you son of an army? Yeah. Is both your dad? Mom, your dad was both. Of them. Both parents dad, are yeah. army. Wow. Okay. So yeah, high standard. For yeah. real, for real. Yeah. Wow. Why'd y'all move down here? Oh, it's closest to family. Like we got a, all our families down here. And okay. Then he got a job, so he got to do it. Yeah. Do you like it better down here or up there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you like better down here? Is it the it's weather? Just the environment, <laughs> the weather, all that. It, it is just cold all the time. Oh my gosh, I bet. What What is What's the difference? Like I mean, you said eighth grade, so I know it's a different level yeah. of football. But what what are the differences in like football up north and football down here? Is it just a little more serious down here, or what? They're, uh, I wouldn't say more serious, but the size makes a big difference. Mm. Like you, you could be my size at any position and do fine, but once you get down here, you gotta get a little bit more weight on you. Yeah, has that been a focus for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've gained about ten pounds since the season. I'm since, trying to get yeah. since this last season ended. Yes. Okay. You're trying to get... I'm trying to get to around 160, 165. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What was uh? What was this? I, I saw y'all maybe... I know at least once. Maybe twice. I know I saw y'all against Hewitt in the, the last game of the season. You know, I live out in Trustful, so I see Hewitt a lot. But I was talking to their head coach, Josh Floyd, after the game, you know, talking about... You know, they were going to the playoffs in the, as like the three seed, I think, mm-hmm. out of Region Three. But I just was like, you know, tell me about the defense and, and facing Chelsea. And he talked about you. And I heard several coaches last year, you know, talking about, you know, everybody talks about Thompson, everybody talks about Hoover, and rightfully yeah. so, they're very good programs. But I heard several people, several coach types last year, talk about, hey, you seen that running back out of Chelsea? And then I was like, well, no, I haven't yet. And then I saw you get Hewitt. And I, mean, I, th- I think you, I think you clipped a hundred. I think, yeah, I, I think, think over a yeah, hundred, pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it was, it was one of those things. It's like, you know, I guess, like I said, Region Three. Everybody talks about yeah. certain schools, certain players, and it seemed like you were a guy last year that impressed a lot of yeah. coaches and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. is that, is, is it like, what's your mindset when you're out on the field? Um, usually I come in pretty humble. I, I usually don't talk a lot on the field, but it's it's just fun knowing that like I'm getting the respect yeah. now, <laughs> what I did before. But it's just fun. But 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you go over a thousand yards and what, 11, 12 touchdowns? I can't remember, 11 or 12. Something. 12, something like 12 that. 12 touchdowns last year in 7A and Chelsea's fir first year. First, first, season, first season in seven eight yeah, last yeah. year. I mean that's that's a bit a big big deal. Yeah. So that's that's a really good season. What was what what were what were some of the tougher teams that you you went up against personally like last year? I mean you y'all didn't have the season you wanted to have, but there were obviously bright spots along the way. Yeah. Who were who were some of the toughest teams to go against? Thompson. So I had that little lingering injury. Yeah. And it was. A, I think they knew I was hurt because they kept in the same <laughs> spot. It was bad, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. So Thompson was a tough one. I yeah. I was I was at least until I said not say until the end, but Hoover to me I saw them several times. Oh, yeah. That defense. Yeah. They're, I didn't I didn't see teams. Thompson much. Like they're just outside of kind of what I usually cover. Yeah. So I'll see them from time to time against the Hewitt against the. the I don't really go to their games against Hoover. I'm usually at a six A game yeah. that night, but. That defense, like, I saw Hoover at Hewitt. And, you know, everybody in 7A, like you said, everybody's yeah. bigger, faster, yeah. stronger. And I'm looking at that defense, and I'm like, what university did these guys come from? Yeah. These aren't high school guys. Like, they're just so much bigger. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they're for, gosh, I guess the first night, heck, maybe the entire regular season. I mean, they just weren't giving up anything. Yeah, they, they had me stuffed the whole <laughs> game. It was bad. <laughs> Y'all played... Cause y'all, that was a game. Y'all were close at halftime with them, yeah. right? It was only like 10, 10 yeah. nothing, something 10. like that. Then the second half is what it is. Yeah. But man, so what it what 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 was last year like for you? I mean, like I said, I mean, you know, it is a one in nine. It's not the final result that you want, but just kind of as, as a whole, what what do you, what do you take from last year? Um, we got a lot of stuff to improve on. Um, we probably gotta be a little more serious. We we're serious, but. Probably yeah. more in, in depth and being serious, and then weight program. We just got to get bigger and get on their level since yeah. we moved up a level. So um, that that's about it. Yeah. How important is that? Is the weight room like how much of a focus is that for Coach Cassidy and the rest of the coaching staff? Yeah. So the weight room is a big, big important <laughs> part because I, I think I was at about 142 oh, wow. during the season. And then, so that played a big factor. I could have broke a lot more tackles than I did if I was the weight that I am now. Yeah. It had the amount of muscle I have. But, yeah, yeah, yeah wow. it played a big factor. Wow. Well, I mean, that that's crazy. 142, 7A running back. Yeah. And, I mean, hey, keep keep getting bigger, faster, yeah. stronger, man. You want to play at the next level, I'm sure. Yes, sir. How is that going? What's that, what's that process like for you? Um, I'm getting a lot more looks than I did before. Uh, Coach Holmes, uh, Morris, they've been helping a lot with that. And I've been to a couple junior days. I got a little bit okay. more interest. I was at a and I'm really interested in them. They Alabama a and Yes, sir. Okay. Where is that at? Remind me. Oh, uh, that's they're... in Huntsville. That's what I thought. They're one of the ones up north. Yeah. So you really like it there? Yeah, it was, it was cool. What do you like about it? Is it the coaches? Is it the culture? The coaches, campus? Coaches, culture, them? campus, all that. And then they got a lot of stuff going for them right now. Like, all their facilities, they're just updating it right now. Like, it it wow. looks good down there. Wow, so they're on the coming up right yeah, now. Yeah. That's cool. Any, has anybody extended an offer or anything yet? You still kind of waiting on that? Yeah. Still waiting on that a little bit? The only thing I've got is, like, a JUCO, and that's it. Okay. What yeah. JUCOs? I forgot the name. That's, like, well, that's it's, fine. It's, well, it's hard to remember some JUCOs. You get yeah. all those directional, and there's a lot of different – there's a lot of words in yeah. some of those titles. I mean, I've, I've been out to uh, – oh, gosh, I don't remember when it was. I visited – not as a football player. I just visited to, to visit. Yeah. But I went to uh, East Mississippi Community College. You know, you yeah. sent on, like, the net, that Netflix mm. documentary. I forget the name of it. Last Chance Last Chance yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first season of that or whatever uh, – I visited out there. I was working on a book at the time. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't come to fruition, but that's that's fine. I still got the experience, and you know, like they're like a JUCO powerhouse, yeah. like powerhouse. And I, the reason I went was I know I'm friends with a uh, Quentin Dial, that he played at Clay Chartwell, yeah. then in Alabama, and then he played in the league. Uh, I don't remember how many years, maybe six, seven years. I uh, played for the. 49ers and then the Packers. Yeah. You know, he went through East Mississippi before he got to, to Alabama. Yeah. And so I went out and visited out there, uh, took some tours, and there ain't nothing out there. 
Yeah, it's like, in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Like, it's like you've got a gas station that has that might serve some food, yeah. and then it's the campus. That's about it. And yeah. now the football stadium is like grand yeah. and beautiful, and you're like, okay, well, it's the priority there. Yeah. You know, but there is nothing yeah. else. Nothing. So, yeah, I hope that works out. If the, yes. a school like Alabama A&M or somewhere else, you know, yeah. somewhere else like that that you want to go to, keep working at it, man. Yeah. What are you uh what are you looking forward to about 2023? Um I'm trying to get 500 more yards than I did last year. I'm trying to have a couple of offers under my belt and keep the grades up. Keep the gra- those yeah. are three important things. Yeah. How, so 500 more yards. I mean, we're 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 now talking 15 1600 yard yeah. season. Yeah. Big goals. Yeah. How do you get there? Um I just got to keep getting bigger. I got to stay on the hill this summer. Get what does that mean? Bigger. Um, my Stay dad found like this hill, and <laughs> I got like a weight vest that so he's gonna give me on. I just gotta run up that. Oh my gosh, is this hill in Chelsea? Yeah, yeah. How much is the weight vest? How how much weight's gonna be on you? Probably fifteen to twenty pounds. Okay. Yeah. And just straight to the top, like just once, or are you going up and down, up and down? Down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. Okay. How do you uh? The grades, how important is that? That I mean, is very important. Like going on these junior days, I'm glad that I have mine right because mm-hmm. most of them, like, I'm seeing how important it is and how much people are, like, just getting cut off people's lists yeah. straight off of grades. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Man, do you know what you want to study when you get there? Um, I mean, you've still got a long, long time, but do you, do you yeah. have any idea of what you want to look I'm at? I'm looking at business right now. Okay. I'm liking that a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do a lot with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you go that Very route. So. Yeah. yeah. You can apply it to so many different things. What about team goals? Like, I mean, it's like, it, it's obvious. Like, if you go 15, 1600 yards, the mm. team will have success. Yeah. But as a team, what, what do y'all, what do y'all look to accomplish this, this fall? A lot more wins than we did last year and just leave a mark on Chelsea football going into the next season and then just Yeah. Yeah. How do you how do you kinda of leave that? Like what do you want your legacy? Like guess people talk about it like that. You know, you're about to be a senior. I, I don't know what kind of leader you are. Like are if you're a vocal guy, if you're just a you know, by example guy. But what what do y'all as a class, I guess, what do you kinda of want that legacy of, to be? We want to have a winning season because, like, I think these past two years, three years actually, like, I, I don't think we've had a winning season. So I guess we're trying to, like, get one yeah. before we go. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, like you said, you're up to 7A. Yeah. And I was just talking with Coach Morrison a bit ago about how big Chelsea keeps getting. Yeah. And, you know, laying a foundation like that as a senior class, you go out with a winning season, you, you, you go a 6-4 and four, a, Eight and two, whatever, whatever yeah. it might be, in the way that this community, not just this football program, but the yeah. community as a whole, the athletics program as a whole, I mean, that's 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 going to leave a mark. You're right for yeah. those next, you know, the, the kids that are coming to watch you right yeah. now, they're going to see that and go, I want to do that for Chelsea too. Yeah. Is that a cool feeling? Yeah. Because like, really I know cool. I know kids have got to come up to you already. They they got to know who yeah. you are. Yeah. That's Dave. Man, well, I, I wish you luck this season, yes, man. I hope I hope I get to see y'all. Uh, maybe a little closer to home. I don't drive out here that yeah. much, <laughs> but maybe I'll see y'all at like I don't know what I don't know what y'all's road games are. I haven't looked at the schedule yet. Do you know off the top of your head? I don't know. Nah, I don't. It's fine. If if there's a if there's a close one, maybe I'll get to go to some of those because I I like I like seeing y'all when I do get to see y'all. So I appreciate you doing this yes, and. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully I'll see y'all this fall. So, uh, appreciate you joining. That's Emerson Russell, running back at Chelsea High School. Uh, y'all make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications. We'll see you again soon.